Hi everybody, welcome to Simple Tunes. My name's Arrow and let's get right to it. Before you start, make sure you have what you need. You need your pencil, you need a separate eraser, and you need a marker or a permanent marker. Something that you can ink things in with. Okay, today we're going to be drawing a frog. There are a lot of different ways to draw frogs and this is probably the simplest way that I've found to do it. So follow along and just do what I do. Here we go. We're going to start off by drawing a simple triangle. Okay, we tried this last time if you followed my last lesson. going to be upside down when we get done with it. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to draw a circle on top of the triangle. A big oval, actually. As I said in the last video, you want to be drawing as light and soft as possible because you're going to have to erase all these lines. Okay, and then we're going to draw another oval, and that oval is going to run the length of this triangle like this. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. Now you'll notice what I'm doing when I'm drawing is I'm trying to draw as soft as possible, and I'm going over myself several times because chances are if you go over and you draw something over and over and over again, eventually you're going to wind up getting the shape that you want. Okay, and then after we do that, we're going to draw a little rectangle here. Actually, let's just make two lines, and then we'll draw the rectangle in underneath it. So here's one rectangle. It's a really skinny rectangle. And then another rectangle like this. And then from there, we can use all kinds of shapes for this. I'm going to choose to use a rectangle like that. So you're going to have two rectangles. And then we're going to draw one more triangle. And that triangle is going to be a line right down the middle. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to cross over the top like this. kind of kind of wacky right now doesn't it okay now on the top up here we're gonna draw a letter M a small letter M or if you want you can think of it as two circles now you can see where the frogs coming out can't you okay well let's stop there and we'll go into the inking and what we're gonna do is you're gonna take your ink pen and I want you to just try to follow along with me and draw the lines as I do. Now you're welcome to make up your own lines and kind of come up with your own character. It's really just, it, it really just comes down to how fancy you want to get. Okay, let me get my marker here, get it ready. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start at the top and we're going to draw the M over the top like this. And after we do that, we're going to bring the circle here, and we're going to bring it around, and we're going to stop. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Now you want to make sure that after you draw, you have this. You want to have a gap here. Bring it around, and have that gap there. Okay. Now we're going to do the same thing here, and what we're going to do is we're going to draw over and down and we're going to stop. So you're going to make almost like an upside down letter J. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Up and down. And we're going to stop. Okay. From here we're going to fill this line in. And just bring straight down and stop. Now we're going to draw the feet. Now You'll notice that the, the feet are kind of square, but what we're going to do is when we draw the feet, we're going to draw some little webs in here at the bottom. Up, up, and one more. I like to do three. Three's a good number. Okay? And this foot is actually going to continue up and over a little bit like this. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. One, two, three and then up 
All right. Now, we're going to draw a neck, just a little neck like this. Now we're going to bring it down and all the way down to here. And all you're doing is you're just bringing this oval around and down. And that's going to give us our frog's body. Okay, I'm going to put a little line there just to kind of give it a little character where things are. And then we're going to do the same thing with the feet here. We're going to bring this over, same thing on the other side. And you're going to draw the webs again. One, two, three, and then up. Same thing here. One, two, three, and then up. All right, now. One of the other things you can do to make this look a little bit more realistic is we can fill lines in here like this. And that kind of makes it, gives it more of a webbing type of look. And do the same thing here. Same thing here. All right. Okay, now for the fun part. We're gonna draw some eyes. Now, with the eyes, we can do lots of different things here. I like to use just regular circles or you can draw dots, or you can draw, well, lines. It's really up to you. I'm, I'm gonna use circles because I just particularly like those. So I'm gonna draw a circle here, and a circle here, more like an oval, I suppose. And then I'm gonna put my eyes inside. Okay, some eyebrows for character. And we'll make him a mouth here. We're just going to give him a big old smile. Oh, and don't forget the nose. Okay. That was a pretty tough one, but you can see how easy it was once we understand the shapes. Oh, and don't forget, once you get all that done, you got to take your eraser. we got to erase all those lines. We don't want them anymore. Okay, now, let's draw another frog, but this time we're going to use different shapes. Maybe this one will be just a little bit easier, okay? So what we're going to do is I want you to draw a regular oval here. We'll draw a smaller frog, okay? Make a friend for him. And we're going to draw a little circle here. And we're going to draw the same thing with the eyes. So pretty much what we just did, we're going to do again. And then what we're going to do for the body is we're going to draw a circle like this. Just a big, round, perfect circle. And what that's going to do is it's going to give him more of a fat, you know, kind of a fatso type of look. Okay. And then we're going to draw an oval. And pretty much the same thing that we did with the other frog. So we'll have two ovals now. Then we're going to draw a rectangle here. Now they're going to, this is going to be a little different than the one we did before because over here everything was kind of close together. And now what we're going to do is we're going to spread things out a little bit. So we're going to draw a rectangle here and a rectangle here. And then we're going to draw a triangle. Now remember when we were doing this one, I had said that we want to draw a triangle in here. Well, we're going to kind of do that, but we're going to do it a little bit more towards the center. So we're going to draw an upside down triangle. And then we're going to draw a line right down the middle of that triangle. And that's going to be our front legs. And from here, two more rectangles. Okay, and that's basically the outline we had before. Now we're going to do the same thing that we did with the ink pen. We're going to ink in over the top and try to draw a frog. I'll try to do this one a little bit differently and give him a little bit of a different kind of look, more of a, uh, well, let's just see what happens here. Let's start with the eyes. Okay, and what I did with that is I just kind of sloped it a little bit more. It's still an M, but just a little bit more sloped. Um, as for his mouth, I'm gonna bring his mouth down What I did is I just kind of shrank the circle into a smaller circle, okay? 
All right, now, because he's a little bit fatter, we don't have a neck like we did on the other one, so we can kind of just ring this around here. We'll just bring it out and down, out and down. Now, I didn't go down all the way. I just went down oh, a little bit. I suppose you could go down all the way. Let's go ahead and try and see what happens here. Yeah, that works. And then we're going to draw our upside down J, just like we did over here. We're just going to go up and down, okay? Up and down. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. Up and down. Okay, now, these feet that we drew, we got to do it over here as well. So we're going to bring it out. One, two, three, and back up. Same thing here. One, two, three, and up. Now, for the front legs, these are a little different than over here. We're just going to bring the sides down and then draw the middle line. That's all. And then our rectangles. One, two, three, and then up. And the same thing here. One, two, three. Okay, let's try something. Oh, don't forget these lines if you want to make it look a little bit more like a frog. And these kind of gives a little bit more detail. Okay, now let's do for the eyes, let's do something a little different. Let's make um, just two big dots like this. Okay. And then for the mouth, we can do something different there as well. Um, let's just bring this all the way across like this. Just kind of divide it right in half. And then we'll put the nose in. And you can see where it starts to look like a frog. Okay. Now, I know I'm moving fast. Unfortunately, because of YouTube time, we only have so much time. So you have the beauty and the ability to go back and, and look at these videos. You can watch them slowly and, and, and kind of go through what I did and try to learn how to do it in your own time. Um, now that we've gotten all this done, let's go ahead and add some details here. We'll add a, a lily pad. So they'll both be kind of sitting on a lily pad. And we could put some cattails in here. kind of some sloppy plants, get the idea. Some ripples in the water. Maybe some reflections. Okay. That's how we draw a frog. And we can bring this down a little bit too, that might help out. Yeah, there we go. If you had any questions, please ask me in the comments below. If you'd like to see a certain animal drawn, please give me some ideas, give me some suggestions. And most of all, if you liked what I did or you were able to learn anything, please like the video and subscribe. It helps me out a lot and it helps me get this out to people that want to learn how to draw. Thanks again. This is Arrow and welcome to Simple Tunes and thanks a lot.